Hi, this is Piero, Technical Director of SecPoint, introducing firmware 48 of the Penetrator. In this firmware, we have focused on some aspects that can improve the user experience. On the home page, we can see the first one. The old status field has been split into progress, which provides information about the progress of a vulnerability scan, and risk, which informs about the risk level of a scan or of a target. This information is available in the scan list on the home page and in the target list, which opens clicking on a scan when you want to get detailed information about the scan. While a scan is running, the information about risk may change over the time until the scan has not completed. If the scan cannot be performed on a target, for example when the node is offline, the risk is displayed as not available. Another interesting improvement is the fast launch. When it's not necessary to add or alter the default settings that a profile has assigned to a scan, it's possible to launch a scan without entering the advanced settings page. When you start a scan, In the page where you enter the targets, you can find this new button, which allows you to start the scan immediately. If you want to change the default advanced settings, you can enter the advanced settings page. And when you have finished changing the advanced settings, you can start the vulnerability scan from this page. Then we have some improvements in the reports download. The first one allows to download all the reports at once as a zip file. This function is available in the floating menu and it will download all the reports already available without generating them again. The second improvement is the option to choose predefined time ranges when downloading reports. Here, it is possible to choose among the following options current week, current month, last 7 days, last 30 days or choose dates from and to. All the reports in the chosen date range will be downloaded as a single zip file. In order to be increasingly clear about privacy and fully compliant with privacy regulations, we have created a new privacy page. This page is available through the new menu item Privacy. The page shows the current status of privacy for a number of items. Some of these items can be changed, some others are read-only. If you click on one of the items that can be changed, you will be redirected to the setup page. If I change, for example, the status of remote support, I can see that the privacy page shows that the privacy status is enabled for this item. To read the full list of enhancements of this firmware, you can download the release notes document from our website. It's all for now. Thank you for watching this video. Bye bye.